Hey everybody, welcome to this video. Today I want to show you how to configure a bit more complex workspaces scenarios with owners and members and database mount points and um, more stages. So the idea is imagine that you're working in a bigger company that has a department that proofreads everything that goes live of your website. And you also have a legal department that checks for any legal implications your texts may have. And with Typo3, you can set up a workflow where every content before publishing has to go through exactly these stages. So you create the content and edit it. Then you can send it to a review and the proofreading stage. At the end, you want to have the legal check. And once everybody says it's OK, the content can be published. We are using Type 3 workspaces. If you haven't installed workspaces yet, please watch the first video in this small series. So last time we created a workspace called MySpace that has no special settings, nothing configured. It's just as Typo3 creates it by default. Today, we want to make some changes to that workspace and make it a bit more complicated. For that, first we go to the list module on the root page where you can edit the workspace. Then I click on edit. And now we already see that we have some tabs on top. The first thing I want to do is I want to set the stages we discussed. So we have the internal stages editing and ready to publish, which are default. And we want to have two custom stages called proofreading and legal check. Let's create these. We have one proofreading and one legal check. And because we already know who's responsible for these, we can also set the responsible persons here directly, which will be notified when content gets to that stage. So our proofreader is called Petra Proof, and our lawyer is Larry Lawyer. If you look at the notification settings, the default is that those responsible for this stage will be notified automatically or pre-selected in the notification dialog. We could also add additional users here, and we can also set user groups instead of single people. So we are going to save that. This is the first step already done. Then. I want to set a mount point. So at the moment, the workspace just goes on the complete Type 3 installation. So as an admin user, I just see everything. Because I have editors now involved, I want to set this to a subpage. In this case, I'm just going to use congratulations. But what you can see here is that you can restrict a workspace to a certain area of the website. So for example, if you would have editors that would be specifically responsible just for the content example pages, you could create a workspace that only has that as database mount. So this is an option to restrict that. I'm going to close this now and see what happens. If I now go to my space, looks like it did before. I'm going to make a change, I'm going to change this back to customize. And if I look at this change now, I can now choose mass actions as before. Or if I just select this one, I can choose a staging action. And now we have not only editing ready to publish and publish to live, we also have proofreading and legal check. In this case, I want to have this proofread. And you see the notification window pops up and Petra proof will be selected and notified automatically. And I can now leave her a nice comment. And 
and send it to that stage. I can still see that because I'm an admin user and it's just meta information. But if I'm now Petra, I can get an overview of what I want to do. And to simulate that, go to the workspaces module and see nothing. Because there's one more step to do. Petra is not a member of the workspace yet. So we have another layer of membership and assignment of users that you need to configure. We can go back to the workspaces module and directly edit the workspace settings here. So you don't have to go via the list module every time. And then at the top general, you can see the workspace can have an owner and members. So I'm going to set my user as the owner and add Larry and Petra as members. If we do this, we can restrict who sees which workspaces. So imagine a setup where you have hundreds of users and hundreds of workspaces. It will get chaotic easily. And this selection <laughs> will be nearly unusable then. So it's much better if you have members for each workspace. So everybody directly sees only their workspaces where they should work. If we switch back to Petra now, we see the workspace selector, so that worked. And then we go to MySpace. And we suddenly see the change. And we also see that it's in the proofreading stage. But where's the comment? You can click on a change to preview what exactly changed. So Typo3 is going to show you a summary of the ch changes and even highlight it in color. And you also can see the comment. So I wrote Peter, please proof it. And changed from editing to proofreading. And there's also a date when I did this. You can also see the history of the content element so that you can see what happened before. This is especially interesting with text changes because you want to avoid changing the same thing back and forth multiple times just because someone was unhappy. Then you need to talk about it. As Petra, I'm going to proofread this and say, okay, this looks pretty okay, but let's have our, our lawyer check whether this has any legal impact. So I can, from this window directly, go to send to stage legal check. And I also have Larry pre-selected here and can add a comment here. like this. And if I now switch to Larry, like this, and go back to the workspaces module, I can do the same thing. Now I see, okay, this went from me to Petra and from Petra to Larry. And if Larry is happy, then he can send it to ready to publish. Can also notify everyone again, or just say, I as the lawyer say that it's ready, ready now. And then I as myself, as the one who did the original change can decide when I want to publish that because it's now ready to be published. And I can go through all the changes that are ready to publish and decide if I want to publish them now, because I know that it's legally okay to publish it and it's also proofread. So I'm going to say, I want to publish it now. And I can also notify everyone involved in the thing that um, it's now public and there's nothing more to do here. So this is how you can use workspaces in a little more complex scenarios with multiple users, with multiple stages, and simulate a complete workflow step by step. I hope you liked it, and I hope you're going to use it in the future. Let me know in the comments, and see you next time.